All February, CBS2 is bringing you stories to commemorate Black History Month. And today, we meet a sculptor who is telling a story of enslaved Africans torn from their homes and brought to New York. CBS2's Tony Aiello reports. People are not slaves. In this instance, you have Africans that were enslaved. A vision in her mind, shaped in clay by her talented hands, and then cast in bronze to tell a story we must never forget. These are people just like you. They were stolen from their home, their lives were destroyed, and that this process went on for several hundred years. I want people to understand that they had lives. They had thoughts, they had feelings, they had goals, they had dreams, and all of that was stolen from them. New York sculptor Vinnie Bagwell has spent thousands of hours over more than a decade crafting a series of statues of colonial era enslaved Africans. Impressive from a distance, close scrutiny reveals the rich details that tell the story of their lives as slaves on the Yonkers estate of the Phillips family. Uh, this is Bibi. Bibi is the elder. She's the grandmother. On each statue, a message in Braille. This on Bibi says, I believe in freedom. The children on her skirt are crafted crafted in beautiful detail. Imagine somebody takes your children, you don't get them back, and, and their lives are destroyed by greed. Temba and Isati have a temporary home at the Yonkers Library. On the back of Isati, there is a schematic of captured Africans packed into a slave ship. On the bottom of her skirt, a man drowning uh, in the ocean, and you'll see a, a ship sailing off into the sunset. If everything goes according to plan, come Thanksgiving, those sculptures will be out of the foundry and out of the library, here, out in the open, along the Hudson River, on property that used to belong to the slave-owning Phelps family. It's not just something they read in a history book. It's something that they're going to see and feel. And, um, and, and that happens because we have a wonderful artist that's willing to make it happen. Bagwell discovered her talent a bit later in life. Sculpting was a surprise at the age of 36. With this monumental project nearing completion, she is crafting a masterwork and a legacy. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Vinnie Bagwell's work is also on its way to New York City. She has been commissioned to create a statue to replace the controversial Park Avenue monument of J. Marion Sims, the doctor who experimented on enslaved women. You can watch this story and all of our Black History Month stories on our website, cbsnewyork.com. What a masterpiece, adding humanity, the dimension that's been missing. There was emotion so in, their, in their faces, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Real people. That's brilliant.